I'm here today with Mr. Figu, and we're going to talk about using uh, Google Forms to make online tests and quizzes. Big so help. Definitely a big help. Um, second year that we've done it. It's my first full year of doing it. Um, we've been able to, by doing the online exams, give us some data collection to kind of see where certain students are succeeding and where other students are struggling and where we can make some changes or improvements to, uh, to really try to help, help and change things. How hard is that setting up the test? Um, overall, pretty good for me. I'm not I'm not a technology guy overall, but I, again, we you have a spreadsheet design, which has been pretty user friendly. It surprises me. The easiest thing that I find is you know I can get quick access to these student scores, and that's a big help. Well, one of the things that we do with the is it's through Google Docs. It's a spreadsheet on Google Docs. Um, we set up an answer sheet, and each one of these you can go through. You get to see which um, questions that we're going to ask for the test. And, and then it lines up on the spreadsheet with the correct answer. And then the student's name, once the student's done the test, um, it will come up on our Google Docs. And How long does the work for you. It tells you it goes right across. It will show you what particular question um, the student either got right or got wrong. And uh, it helps tally up, you know, once you set in the weight that you're going to have. Um, a score and it's just instant. That's so the nice thing about it. Once you have that template, how much work do you have to do? It's just plugging in the information, plugging in the questions, plugging in the answers, and pretty much that simple. It's, it's that set up, making sure that every student passed it in properly um, as far as electronically. Don't forget to, as you go on to NokomisHistory.com, you click on my name. Once it gets you to um, the page of the test, put your name, make sure, okay? Once you've already got your name in place and you click go, okay, and 20s dash World War II exam pops up, you are green lighted. From then on, it's just like a regular test. Don't talk to your buddy, okay? Don't go looking on your buddy's laptop. Just keep plugging away at the test until you get it done. How do you handle non-multiple choice type questions? Last year especially, we, we had a, a large written component. And again, students, I, I'm finding this generation of young people, um, it's easier for them to get out information at their fingertips. I, I'm a little bit older, I'm still used to writing everything out by pen or pencil. Um, for a lot of students, you know, we, we might leave a little space area for students to type in like a, like an essay question or a short answer question. And, and this generation of young people, that's how they communicate in there and it's easier for them, I think. What's the kind of data that you look at? Um, one of the things we're looking for is uh, with students that are really, really having problems with the exam, what type of questions, it helps you break down what, uh, you know, what questions are really stumping or giving the students a difficult time or, or a hard time. Um, maybe have myself as a teacher at the end of the year kind of go back and see if that's an area maybe we didn't cover as thoroughly as we should have or, or maybe the wording of the question could be, could be changed. So, How the kids like this? I think overall they like it. It's it's easier in the sense that, you know, this generation of young people, they're attached to either a laptop or some type of electronic device. For a lot of the young people, I mean, it's just just easier to, to, to go through the test and uh, get it right at your fingertips. Um, what I think a lot of students like is they can get, you know, even though I don't give the grade back until, um, you know, after the class, pretty much give instant feedback. I can put scores on that very night. Um, the tests are self-correcting. Um, once we set up the, the spreadsheet and we set up uh, all the information that you need, it's really for a teacher. It's a, it's a real easy, easy piece once everything's put into place. So what do you think of taking the test or quizzes online? Um, I like it. It's easier and it's easier for the teachers to grade too. The score comes right up for them. What do you think about taking the test online? Yeah, it's no different to me. It's just, uh, it's, it don't make a difference to me. It don't affect how I do the test. It's just a button click for me. It doesn't really matter to me. It's the same. Because if they were to have them on paper, it would be the same as that questions, hopefully. So. Okay. I prefer paper, but I don't really know why. Okay. Do you, uh, is it is it harder on the on the computer or no. easier? Same? About the same, I would say. Same. 
Would you rather do it on paper by hand? I would. If you would? Okay. okay. So what do you think about having the, uh, taking the quizzes online? I like taking them online. Like, actually taking them isn't any different than it would be on paper. But um, sometimes if we do, like, a quiz or something, our teacher will go up and he'll project, like, the results on the screen. So we can kind of, it'll show, like, pie graphs and stuff and, like, what percentage of people got this question right and how many got them wrong. And I just think that's kind of cool. It's kind of a neat little feature.